Hey guys, welcome back to Beach and Fishing. Paul here with you again today. And welcome to Beach and Fishing, my site to do with all things fishing. Now it's a lovely day here where I live and I have a bit of free time, so I'm about to go for a fish. And the friend of mine I'm going with is running late. So I thought while I'm waiting here and I've got some gear out, let's have a look at some of it on video. I'm gonna take my GoPro with me today. I've got a little chest piece set up ready, so hopefully I'll have some good videos starting to roll through uh, my channel in the near future of me actually fishing instead of sitting behind a desk talking about this stuff, which is all I've managed to do right now, um, up until now. But anyway, today I'm gonna to talk to you about my three best surf fishing backpacks. Now I've got it on here, just so I can show you how, how it fits together. Backpacks are something that, look, in my opinion, are probably Next to a fishing rod and reel, for me, a backpack is the next most important thing that I like to have. For years and years, I used one of my son's old um, school backpacks, which worked a treat until the bottom started to fall out and I started to lose things in it and all sorts of the internal lining all ripped and all that sort of stuff from having knives and hooks and stuff in there. So I went down and bought myself this little one, which I'll show you. So it sits up on my back like so, so you can see how it sits. Now the reason I like a backpack, and I'll take it off so I can show you, the reason I like a backpack is because it keeps your hands free. So if you're skipping around rocks, sometimes we skip around the rocks down there if we're chasing Taylor off the rocks and things like that. Backpack's really good. And I'm a big advocate also of only taking the tackle and stuff that you need for that trip and leaving the rest of it at home. That way it's not getting um, exposed to the elements, it's not getting sand and everything it's and it's just protected so I bought this little one the other day um, it's not one of the ones I recommend because I couldn't find that online and the ones that I recommend online I couldn't get um, and I was in the fishing shop buying a new rod and reel at times so I picked this one up uh, but it is along the lines of some of the ones I recommended um, basically with the fishing backpack this one's a, a very basic model it hasn't got a lot of the the satchels and all this, uh, a lot of the pockets and everything that some of my recommendations do. So as you're looking through, the backpack element is what you're looking for. The rest of it is just whatever your personal preferences are. Now this one has lots of little bits and pieces on it. So I keep everything in it. The things to look for, okay? So if you go through a backpack, this one's made of strong waterproof material. I should hold it up like that, strong waterproof material. I keep my knife in it, but then when I go fishing, I put it in there and it slots down in that and then it, it just sits there. If I've got it on my back, it just sits like that. Um, I keep everything else. In here I've got um, a fish carrying bag because I'm actually going out in the kayak. I've got my tools, which this is another thing that you can look for in a fishing backpack is the little slot there so they can just sit in there. So if this is sitting on the ground, you can get that in and out without again having to go into everything. Um, I keep my scissors in there as well. Um, I've got little clips there, so if I want to clip things on. This thing here, uh, I can clip a drink bottle onto. Most importantly, I have in the front here, another little dry satchet. So I could put my, I can put my phone, I can put my wallet, which I don't have here with me, but I can put those sort of things in there. Keeps it nice and dry and safe and protected. So. As a minimum, you want at least a, one part that you can keep everything in. I keep um, I keep just the tackle I want in a little box. I've got a new lure here that I'm going to review today when I'm out. A little die or double clutch, which I'm going to um, do a review on. So I'll keep an eye out for that. I've got some soft plastic baits, uh, lures, which I'm going to try as well, if, especially if the, if the one I'm testing doesn't work. And that's about it. I don't like to take a real lot. Um, Actually, while I remember, luckily for me, I remembered, I've got some extra line here, which I will put in and take in case I snap my line. And I've got some carbon, some um, fluorocarbon here, which I'll put in as well. So I keep a little bit of line in there. I've got all sorts of other stuff there. I don't need my 25 pound or 40 pound because I'm not going for those sort of fish. And that's it. So things to look for is a satchel that you can keep all your stuff in, regardless of how you like to keep it. Um, the, anything that's got a little tool thing on the front there, as I say, that's elastic, so that just slots, they just slot in there. A drink holder's good. This thing here, um, I'm not actually sure what that is. I've got more elastic things on the back here. I've got another clip here. I've got a little Velcro thing there as well, so I could actually even Velcro the knife onto that if I wanted to, if, I, if I could do it the right way without falling over. 
but I could even Velcro that on there and keep the knife there if wanted to. So that's what I was looking for in a, in a, a fishing backpack. Just enough things to, to hold everything. A dry pocket is, is again something that you would uh, that I'd highly recommend that you can keep all your your wallet, your phone, your car keys, everything there protected in that. Zip it up. Um, this has got a rubber line zipper on it, which is means it's you know the water's going to stay out. It's got some strong little handles on the zippers. This one's rubber lined all the way around, so no water can get into this at all. As I say. Nice and small, I like my backpack small, and I've used this on the beach a couple of times, and it has worked a treat. As I say, I can put it over my back, I can fish with it on my back, or if I put it in the sand, it's fully protected. Um, I haven't actually put a drink bottle in that yet, but that's what that's for, and a good little surf fishing backpack there, which is what I use. And as I say, you, it, it all comes down to what you want to carry in it, whether you want to carry the number of satchels you want to carry, um, how many tool slots you want. You know, the bigger models, which I'll show you in my recommendations, some of them have um, where you can put in tackle boxes. This one I could slide a tackle box in. It actually did have a couple of tackle boxes that went with it. The place where I bought this, I didn't purchase them because I, as I say, I just use these little ones and I've got a few others out there that I can throw in if I need to, but that's, that's that. So that's what to look for in a, in a good fishing backpack. That it's, you know, how many slots do you want? What do you want to put in it? Has it got the tool clips, if you want them or not? Some of them have little um, cold areas so you can put cold drinks in and like a little tiny cooler bag in them. Some of them have wet bags where you can put your rubbish and your bait bags and all that sort of stuff involved. Some of them have little mesh pockets on the side. Again, you can put your rubbish or hold a drink in there or do whatever you want to do. So with all that in mind, let's check out the three that I have come up with. So, um, so as there, we'll talk about it. So as I say, you know, you could, they're all the sort of stuff you might want to put in there. Waterproofing, as we've mentioned, tackle box inclusion, we've mentioned, tool slots, accessibly, wet sections, dry sections, other stuff. So everything that I've talked about is in the post. Um, the first one is casking. I'm not sure where the picture's gone for that one. I'll have to show you the picture up the top there because it is a... Actually, if I click on it, you'll be able to see the um, the way the bag looks a little bit better. So you can see there, it's very similar to the one I've got. And it's got little tool slots in the front. It's got one little um, pocket there. And you can see up the top there, it's got another little pocket that is your dry pocket. And then the big pocket there that, that holds the... Um, that holds your tackle boxes and stuff like that. So it will, it's waterproof. Um, it will hold two 3,600 size little boxes. They're not included, but you can get them. Two front pockets designed for either wet or dry, as I say. Four pockets, four mounted mole straps, which are the little elastic things I was talking about. Drink hot on the side, mesh storage, and single adjustable sole, shoulder pad strap. So as I say, it's closest to the one that I've chosen there. And it's got some really good um, options for for someone who wants lightweight, easily stored, you get some tackle boxes if you click on that one as well. So that's my first one. Second one is a little bit bigger, Cast King Day Tripper Fishing Backpack. Um, it's ripstop nylon material, holds up to four tackle boxes, they're not included as well. Two front pockets, um, a fleece line pocket, fleece line pocket for sunglasses and phone, etc. So there you go, it's got extra protection for those sort of thing. Six plus multiple external mesh slots. They're great for putting like empty bait packets, those sort of things in, because they're not going to contaminate inside your backpack. The biggest thing with any backpack is not contaminating inside of it. It's got a fishing rod and reel hold on the side bungee. So on the side there, it's actually got bungee cords that you can put your rod and reel attached to it as well. A removable false bottom and the mesh pockets are all rubber coated. So it's a little bit more quality than, than the first one. A little bit bigger, as I said, holds for for, um, for, what am I trying to say here? Holds for tackle boxes, I have no idea what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so that one's a good one. I, I actually, um, it's got good reviews, it's a good price, definitely a good price. I The fishing shop I was looking at the other day where I bought mine, bags like this were about 120, 130 bucks. So that's a really, really good price, if I'm being honest for that one. And it's got good reviews and yeah, it'll hold everything you need. So that's a good one if you're looking for a decent size backpack. There's a little bit bigger than just the, um, you know, the single carry one that we're looking at. And the third option here is a Piscafun bag. Uh, again, four large trays, 
uh, four tackle box re protective rain cover. So it's got a cover that comes out and goes over the top of the whole thing. It'll high, it's um, high density nylon fabric, durable cam buckle and SBS zippers, which are the rubberized ones. Tackle box holds four and it's included. So this one has the tackle boxes included. So those boxes there are included with the backpack. Uh, dry storage, wet storage, two front pockets, dedicated plastic dry pocket for phone and wallet, and a hard case for your sunglasses. So even more protective with sunglasses. 11 adjustable clapboard in the main, oh, 11 pockets. So there's 11 pockets all around it, and the, and the main one you can move the this little um, rubber, uh, like little foam compartments that you can move around inside. Tool slots on the side, mesh straps, padded backpacks, uh, back pads, extra drink bottle holder, waterproof, uh, rubber bottom for extra stability, and rubber bottoms are good drop on the sand. They don't bring the water inside if it's a little bit damp. Um, this one's got good qualities. It's again, cheaper than a lot of the ones I've seen in the retail shops, especially around where I am for some reason. So another very good deal. Pisca Fun's a good brand. Um, yeah, hundred bucks there. So if you're looking for a, a good, um, another good decent sized backpack with the tackle boxes included, then that one could be a good option for you as well. So that's it guys, that very quick in a nutshell, <coughs> excuse me, my three recommended um, backpacks for surf fishing. As I say, I've got the little one. The first option I've got there is the is the little one that just the sling over the back, very light, very easy to cover. It's got enough, it's got enough pockets, you cover everything. Next one obviously has a lot more pockets to it, um, but basically the difference between that one and the third one, the third one has a bit more protection, a few more slots. Um, second one, you can hold your rod and reel on it as well. Third one has a few more slots and has the tackle boxes included. But for the price that I could find online, for the reviews I could find online, and the third one, the tackle boxes, they're my three recommended surf fishing backpacks. That's it, guys. Hope that was helpful for you. I'll do a review on the Avo Garcia one um, after I've used it a few times. I like to do my reviews once I've used these things a few times, just so I get used to them and, and can give you a clear thing. So I'll be reviewing that one in the very near future, which brings me to, if you're watching this video within YouTube, like and subscribe to my channel below. That way I can keep you up to date with the things that I'm looking to review. I've been uh, busy shopping recently. I've bought a lot of um, some new fishing rods. I've bought some new line. I've bought, um, I finally got my GoPro. My old one died, which is why I haven't had any decent um, videos of me fishing. I'm about to rectify all that. So if you want to keep up to date with all that, see me catch fish, see me not catch fish, Cash fish, see me um, probably spool my bait caster because I've been very good at that lately. I don't know where my, just lost it with my bait caster. Um, we'll try that as well. And yeah, so subscribe to my channel. If you're watching within the post, if you have any questions to do with backpacks, any questions to do with um, what you could be looking for, specific needs, um, fishing in general, if you use any of the backpacks I've recommended and you have good or not so good results with them, or if there's another backpack that you use, which you think would be better served for those watching this video, please comment below. Or if you have a difference of opinion, comment below. One thing I love about fishing, I mentioned all my posts, is that everyone has a different opinion, which I love. Anyway, guys, thanks for that. I've got to go. My mate's just turned up and going fishing. Chat you soon. Bye.